Hello, I'd like to show you how to build a LXMOS Bluetooth controller. All the essential hardware or software you'll find on basecamelectronics.com and you need an Arduino Uno, this one, a shield, this, a two-way joystick and two Bluetooth modules, one for slave and one for the master mode. <coughs> First, you have to attach five cables to your Arduino Uno, to five volts and ground, and to RX and TX. You have to do that on the bottom of it, because once you've attached the shield, you don't have access to the pins on the top. <coughs> the shield is assembled easily like A5 to A5 and slightly push it together. The joystick has five cables, ground, five volts, RX, RI and switch and has to be attached to the shield like this. First row from the right ground 5 volts RX, second row top RY and third row from the left top is the key. This is one part. The second part is the pairing and configuring of the Bluetooth modules. One is labeled master, this comes to the shield and the second one is the slave which goes to the Alex Moss gimbal. <coughs> so, this one, the slave module, is hooked up to another Adreno. You don't need another one, but I got one here, so I will use it. This Bluetooth module has an enable pin and a state pin. In order to configure both Bluetooth modules, you have to set these into AT mode. You do this by hooking up uh, five cables, RX, TX, 3 volts, 5 volts and ground to your Arduino and hook up this to the um, Bluetooth module. 3 volts go to enable pin, RX goes to RX, and TX goes to TX, ground to ground, and 5 volts to VCC. Before you plug in the 5 volts, you have to press this little button on the front. So, powering up the UNO, mm -hmm. press the little button and hook up. 5 volt. 5 volts. When you've done it right, the Bluetooth module should blink like that. This means it's in AT mode. <coughs> so I will switch the camera. This is the LXMOS website, basecamelectronics.com. Here you'll find the uh, hardware and, of course, the software. It's here at the bottom of the page. On GitHub you can download it here, save it, and once you've done that you can extract it to your standard Arduino sketchbook folder, which should be desktop, libraries, documents, Arduino. I already did that, so I don't have to do it right now. Just open the LCD remote, you know, like this one. We need this package in a few minutes. So, now we make another project. This is empty. If you didn't do that before, you have to upload this to your Arduino. And remember to unhook the Bluetooth module. I already did that, so I don't have to do it right now. 
you see the Arduino Uno is hooked up to COM5, so I will connect to it. So I'll make this a little bit smaller. So we need a few commands. First, type in AT and hit enter. The error message is normal for some reason. Do it again and it will return OK. So the three commands are AT roll, AT plus roll, question mark. It returns zero. This means it's a slave mode. In case of the slave module, this is correct. In case of the master module, which has to be configured afterwards, this role has to be set to one. To do that, you enter AT plus role equals one. Once you hit enter, the role is changed to role one. We don't need that here. The second command is AT plus ADDR question mark. This returns the MAC address of the slave module. This is very important. Copy and paste this to a text file. We need it afterwards. The third thing is AT plus UART question mark. It returns the bout speed of the module. In this case it's 115200 which is the right speed. To change that you enter AT plus UART equals in this case 115200 1 0 enter. You can change the password or other things here but you have to do it on both modules and as well as here in this code for the Arduino Uno shield. So once you have changed the um, commands for the module, unplug the slave module and plug in the master module and the only difference is you have to set the role to 1. Once you've done you can unhook the modules. Then go back to this code for your Arduino shield. Unplug the Arduino and plug in the Arduino with the shield attached. Make sure you don't have the Bluetooth module attached to the um, RX and TX module and just change the two settings in the serial section, the uh, Bluetooth section. First one is the MAC address. Here you enter the address you just found at the slave module. The second one is this. It's the speed of the Bluetooth module. Here you have to enter 115200. If you change the password you have to change it here as well. Once you've done everything you can just upload it to your Arduino Uno. So I will put the camera back here. So this is the Arduino Uno and now we have to attach the Bluetooth module to the shield. Um, once again you attach five, four cables 5 volts, ground, RX and TX, but this time RX goes to TX and TX goes to RX. That's a big difference here. You don't have to push the button or use the enable key. So, once it's attached, this blinking pattern will occur. This is in search mode. This is the slave module. Just hook it up to your base cam gimbal. 5 volts to 5 volts, ground to ground, RX to TX and TX to RX. So 
So, and power it up. And the blinking pattern should change. Yes, you can see it. Now it's blinking synchronously. So, and the display shows it's connected. That's it. Have fun and thank you.